Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a rain tool save. So let's go into the video. So first thing we need to do is turn on API service. And to do that, make sure your game is published to Roblox. Then once you've done that, click game settings. And then you should see this window appear. All you need to do is go to security. Then make sure the second one, API services, is green. Save it. And now what you need to do is click service storage, click plus, and then add in a folder. Name this folder to saved tools. Inside the folder, what you need to do is put all of our tools that we want to save inside of that folder. So if we just add in a tool, I'm just going to be adding this one, which is a sword made by Roblox. Then drag it inside of your folder. And also just to test it, I'm going to duplicate it, then drag it inside workspace like this. So now we have one side of the folder and one inside the workspace like this. And now what we need to do is go to service script service, click plus, add in a script and name this to save tools. First thing we need to do is type in local, local tool folder. equals to game, colon, get service, two brackets, speech marks, and then server storage. Then outside of brackets, do a colon, find first child, brackets and speech marks, and then the name of your folder, which is saved tools, like this. Go down and now type in local, data, store, service equals game colon get service two brackets speech marks and then data store service go down and now type in local save data equals to data store service colon get data store two brackets speech marks and then save data like this Go down twice and type in game.players.playeradded colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then player and then if you type in local tool data equals to save data colon get a sync two brackets and then player dot user id Make sure your user ID is spelled like this, with a capital U and a capital I. Go down and type in local backpack equals to player colon wait for child brackets and speech marks and then backpack. Make sure it's spelled like this, just with a capital B. Go down and type in local starter gear equals to and then the same thing. So player, colon, wait for child, brackets and speech marks, and this time starter gear, like that. Go down and type in if to all data, doesn't equals to nil, then for i, comma v in pairs, brackets, and then to all data, and then do, go down, a new entry should appear, and then if you type in if to all folder, find first child, bracket, and then V, and then type in backpack, colon, find first child, once again, bracket, V, and this time do equals equals to nil, and do the same thing, but this time for starter gear, so starter gear, colon, find first child, brackets, V, then equals equals to nil, then go down, then type in tool folder, square bracket, v, outside of brackets, we could do colon, clone, two brackets, dot parent, equals to, and then backpack. Do the same, so we just copy paste this. Copy it, paste it, this time change backpack 
to start a gear, like that. A vent underneath these three ends without a bracket. Go down and type in, we can type in player, dot character removing, colon, connect, two brackets, function, two more brackets, and then character. Go down, and what this does, so what we're going to be doing is making it so when the player leaves the game, then we're going to unequip the tools so we're not holding it. And to do that, type in character, colon wait for child, brackets and speech marks, then humanoid, then colon unequip tools, two brackets, like this. The last part we need to do is go down from the end and type in game, dot players, dot player removing, colon connect, two brackets, function, two more brackets, and then player, go down and it enter the player bracket, then type in local, to all, table, equals to, two point brackets, go down twice and type in for i, comma v, in pairs, two brackets, and then if type in player dot backpack colon get children two brackets and then do go down and do enter the pair then we can type in table dot insert two brackets then type in tool table comma v dot name and then underneath this end go down and type in if to a table doesn't equal to nil then save data colon set a sync two brackets and then player dot user id comma to all table like that and that should be the script done we've closed off make sure we click save and then if we go ahead and test it inside Roblox, we might have to play it in Roblox and not Studio, otherwise it might not work. Okay, so once we're in game, you can see we have no tools. If you step on this sword, so if we pick it up, leave the game, and then rejoin. There you can see, once we load in, we have our sword inside our backpack. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like. Comment and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!